Hi. There's Genevieve. Hi, little Genevieve. Look at the camera. So, uh, here's another little video tour. I hope you can see everything all right. There's the new uh, snowmobile uh, in the light. And then uh, with the uh, sled, it's upside down right now to keep snow from getting in it. And I rigged up a thing so that the sled doesn't crash into the back. It's just two poles that I drilled holes in and then attached ropes through the holes and attached to the back. So, you know, if you're going down a hill, the sled comes up and crashes behind you. That's no good. Um, so that's the setup, getting in and out of here. We're, see, we're at the rock, and then there's the firewood pile in the garden, and uh, this will give you an idea of how much snow there is right now. That's a 55-gallon uh, drum right there. Uh, so there's only the top third of it showing, and it's on the ground there. So that's, you know, about, I don't know, two, two and a half feet of snow or so still. That's compacted down. It's a little uh, snow enclosure that I built. Um, I shoveled out an area today. We got the little solar panel going to charge the light. Shoveled out an area today because we're going to be sugaring here, and uh, that's that's where we're, we'll be boiling. So getting it dried out and ready. Tapped one tree, not dripping yet, as you can see. So we'll uh, we got a few uh, few days or maybe a week or two before they start dripping. Then we'll run around the perimeter. Still got lots and lots of firewood. Just started to put a dent in the top of the across there, but still plenty of firewood on the deck. Then going around. Here's the we're following the snowmobile track that I uh, used to to get the thing turned around right now. Um, anyway, hope this is gonna work. There's a bunch of snow on top of the boat still. A lot of the, I should have taken a video a few days ago, there was a lot more snow on all the roofs, you know. It's really melted a lot in the last few days. But uh, anyway, that's the snowmobile track. And, yeah, you can see that I had to dig out a spot there. Um, you can see it really goes <laughs> down into there, um, especially with the drifts and whatnot. So, yeah, we're, we're about two or three feet higher. <laughs> Um, this is, uh, March 10th, right now, and now we'll go inside. Ooh and here's the entranceway, all the wood, whoops, kicking over buckets and stuff, and, yep, Amelia? Yeah. I'm coming in. Hey, and here's, here's Amelia. Hi, just doing some dishes. Washing dishes with the, there's the sink, and uh, I built a new shelf for our new uh, water holder that hangs over the sink, so it empties into the sink there. Um, Genevieve, you doing okay? You doing okay there, Genevieve? How are you doing? You doing good? I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? She looks, she like looks she's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So there's the there's the hammock and uh, yeah we put it up when so it's out of our way when she's not using it usually but she was just using it. Um, I put that video on too. And uh, yeah, there's our there's our cook stove, trusty cook stove. I feel like it's about 100 degrees in here right now, Amelia. No, Whew. Not. Well, it feels, I mean, it's at least 80, I'd say. I'm like sweating, you know? I don't know if you noticed, but I was uh, in the video earlier, but outside I'm perfectly comfortable in a, um, in no sleeves. So, I better turn this off because I'm about to run out of battery. But, anyway, that wraps up this. Say goodbye, Genevieve. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.